Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. Let's talk some mountain weather. First off, we'll uh, look at the bullet points. So overall, the pattern continues to shift to the north. Northern branch of the jet favoring the Pacific Northwest, BC, the northern tier of states. That's where the best chances for new snow are going to be, at least through 412. And then on or after 412, we may have a cutoff low that sinks south, and then that could run through or brush California and then hit Utah and Colorado with some new snow. So kind of a two-part forecast. Let me show you what the uh, water vapor satellite looks like right now. So I went ahead and marked it. You can see the low that's tracking up towards BC, affecting the, uh, uh, the Pacific Northwest. That's where the northern branch of the jet is. Now, the southern branch is active, but the two were disjointed. Uh, you can see a low over Hawaii. That's been kind of meandering for at least a week, I think. But the southern branch is flooding the uh, the southern states with some moisture. That's why we've seen these severe weather outbreaks. It's helping to fuel that. But the two are not working together. The north and the southern branch are split right now. Um, let me just show you what the forecast jet is way down the road. So this is 416. When I look at this pattern, I see some remnants of a cutoff low that may have moved through or is moving through Colorado at this point. But overall, low velocity um, overall with the jet. The northern and the southern branch are really split. Um, there's a bigger low over the Pacific. That's what I see here. Um, so this is not the most active of patterns, um, but there's a little bit of action moving through Colorado on 416, if this holds. All right, let me go back. I want to show you um, a couple of things here. I did write about it this morning on my blog, chrystomer.com, still forecast through 416. Take a look at it. Now, as we move ahead, a little programming note, I've got a couple of things coming up. I'm going to do a special piece on El Nino, which could be our dominant uh, feature um, by summer into fall. I'll look at that coming up. And also, as we move into April, May, it's obviously spring skiing. So I'll continue to kind of uh, look at some skiing, but I'm going to start to feather in a little bit of um, a spring and summer activity type stuff. So maybe a little more wind forecasting um, for high peaks or mountain bike stuff, uh, whitewater rafting, you know, snow melt, spring melt, stuff like that. So we'll add in some new things as the seasons are shifting. Um, take a look at this. I, I actually showed this yesterday on my video, but um, season to date totals, Alta still looking at, uh, um, you know, making a run at 900. Uh, they're on the precipice there at 877 to 880. Um, the current setup, I showed you that. There's the forecast pattern. We went through that. Let me show you forecast timing. And I'll take this full. Here's Saturday morning. Notice all the actions in the Pacific Northwest and BC. A couple of snow showers running through Colorado, but that's it. Uh, then we're back to pretty much just a waiting game. So there's 411. It's all Pacific Northwest and BC, northern tier states, Montana, Idaho. Then you see it here. On or about 412, there's a low that starts to drop south and starts to affect or brush the Sierra. This may be the low that makes a run through Utah and Colorado. All right, back to the blog. I did do a breakout of Jackson Hole, if you want to take a look at that. Your best shots of snow came in 12, 13, 14, and 15, when you could see a foot. Um, my numbers from this morning, um, you can see them here. Not a lot happening, 4, 7 to 4, 9. I'll take this full so you can see it. Um, Here's period one, so 4.7 of 4.9. Uh, really the best snows, Whistler down to Baker, Shasta. Um, everything is really centered in the Pacific Northwest, pretty light elsewhere. Period two, 4.10 to 4.16. Um, you can see the numbers go up significantly for Bridger Bowl, Big Sky, Grand Targhee, the Tetons in general, the Wasatch, and also Colorado with 4 to 10 on the way there in Colorado. So I did do a breakout. That assumes that cutoff low. I did do a breakout. Let me take you back to that for the Wasatch. Um, I did a little breakout on the Wasatch snow timing. A little bit of snow, 8 and 13. And then the bigger snow is 14. That's the biggest day with potentially 8 inches or so. And there's some that trickles into 415 um, in the forecast. So take a look at that. In the northeast... I'm not forecasting anything, and this hasn't changed since yesterday. Between today and 416, I, I really don't have anything as far as new snow. So really what we're looking at 
is, is Western. It's all about the West, and it's really about this period right here, 410 to 416, uh, the Tetons, parts of Montana, Utah, and Colorado. All right, guys, so appreciate you tuning in here for this uh, mountain weather update on this Friday. Take care and have a good one.